Dad. I think the kid has had tough times since day one. We even gave him up good, bad, and different. But she thought she was giving him to good people. But the mother died, and the dad, he didn't want him. So he's out like that. Now, what do you think you and I would have grown up like if that had happened to us? I mean, I'm bad enough, and I come from good people. That's very true. Look, Josh, I know this kid's thick high because I got one myself. He's got you wrapped around his little finger, doesn't he? You know, don't tell him that, though, because he gets away with plenty already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, well, how are you two? I, uh, Reeve told me you were all going over to LeMay's. Yeah, well, if you're going to chew us out. No, 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 I figure she's done that enough already. She did. But you deserved it. <laughs> but I'm proud of both of you. So what are you doing here? What? Well, don't you have a meeting tomorrow morning? Volunteer fireman, putting out fires, saving beautiful women. More like washing their truck and feeding their damn dog. Well, what time do you do that? 6 a.m. Uh, must be getting pretty close to your curfew now, huh? Yeah, well, I ain't broke curfew yet. No, we'll see that you don't, because Sarah will be waiting up to make sure you know. I know. She's your grandma. Break her heart. I'm gonna whip your butt. <laughs> Okay. Well, you got a few more minutes, so uh, enjoy yourself. Thanks. I thought he was going to be a lot harder on us. Yeah, well, sometimes his bark is worse than his bite. I figured it's just, I don't know, maybe that's his plan to keep you guessing, you know? You want to dance? Yeah. <laughs> Sam? Yeah. You want to spend Thanksgiving with me? Thanksgiving? Nah. No, nah, I guess you don't. You probably want to spend it with your uncle, right? Are you going to be alone? No, but... I mean, that's the problem, you know. I'm going to be surrounded by all this family. Hawk and Sarah are inviting all the Lewises and the Shanes over some some big Thanksgiving dinner. And you know how I love a crowd. But I know it's it's not right of me to ask you to give up your family. Dylan. I mean, it's no big deal. I'll live. Dylan, <laughs> I would love to spend Thanksgiving with you. You would? Yes. Really? All yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Mind if I cut in? Hello there. Yeah, he, he was sort of lonely tonight without me. Oh, yeah? Is she right? Were you lonely tonight without me? Not at all. I had women picking up on me all night long. Are you kidding? Oh, well, I'm sorry I showed up to ruin all your fun. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Have you, uh, spoken to him? No, the opportunity has not exactly arisen. I'm sure that you would like to, though, no, so go right not right on. now. Right now, I want to dance with my man. <laughs> <laughs> Your man? I'm glad that he has such a nice girlfriend. I'm glad that I have such a nice girlfriend. Now, she hasn't been so nice lately, but she promises to be so much nicer from now on. Is that because you love me? That's because she loves you with all her heart. Uh, well, if you see her, you tell her that I love her, too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we can all eat together. What do you want me to put the plates, Mom? Oh, honey, you shouldn't be carrying those. Put it on the bar until the table gets set up. How much longer do I have to watch her? Well, you're getting 
paid, aren't you? What are you complaining about? I don't need the money. I get an allowance, and I'm just doing this as a favor to my father. Well, don't put yourself out. Little Billy, it's fine. Everybody knows how great it is of you to babysit. We all, we all know you'd much rather be outside playing. I'd rather be in the parlor with the rest of the men. Oh. Well, the rest of the men will be coming out of the parlor to help us very soon. Oh. <laughs> Never mind me, I'm just passing through. Dylan! You made it. Yes. Come on, boy. You're just in time to help me. Finest Havana has to offer. Wait a minute. There you go. You gotta pull in on it, you know. Daddy. <laughs> Are you trying to kill him, or what? Just because you don't like the finer things of life don't mean that nobody else can, you know that? Right, boy? Uh, right, right. <laughs> you know, this is a real big day for the Lewis's and the Shanes. It's a holiday, and we are actually celebrating it together. Yeah, it certainly is a first. It's like the, uh, the pilgrims and Indians getting together, smoke a peace pipe. <laughs> yeah, right. And we're welcoming a new member to the clan. Mm -hmm. By the way, how is uh, Dylan making out? Well, uh, I haven't seen him much around. I think he's trying to get adjusted to having family. And is the family uh, getting adjusted to having him around? Oh, we're trying, Daddy. Joshua, why don't you just give him some time? Man, it's, you know, right, Reva's been way out of line lately, you know, buying him a new car and trying to help him as much as she can. But I guess it's fine because he knows how to put her in place, so what difference does it make, right? Just ease up. I just don't understand why everybody's more concerned about Dylan than they are about Reva. I mean, she's pregnant. You know, she's got some problems. Hello? You're our guest of honor. Have a cigar. No, thanks. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> no lectures today, all right? You're right. It's Thanksgiving. We're here to celebrate. Thank you very much. Hey, hey. Happy Turkey Day. Hey. Glad I finally found a real party. Uh -huh. Refugee from the gridiron. How you, you doing? You got it, man. <laughs> Have one. Um, look, no, no, no. I gave these up years ago along with all my other vices. Oh, oh. <laughs> you try to get me. Man. <laughs> man, don't try to ruin my image. What you doing? Look at these clothes. Are you ruining by yourself? Oh, get out of here. Yeah, really. Say, fella, how you feeling? Hey. I guess we're not going to be seeing much of you around Heartbreaker anymore, huh? Yeah, that community service stuff's going to keep me pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, well, could be a lot worse, you know. Yeah, hey, I ain't complaining, just stating facts. Yeah. You know, I knew your adopted mom. You knew Molly? Yeah. Yeah, she was a real good friend of my mom's. She's a real fine lady. She sure was. I mean, are you, are you the guy who put Reva and Molly together? I introduced him. Oh, See, I thought Molly would do real good by you. Well, she did, thanks. At least one of my moms turned out okay. Hey, Reva thought she was doing the right thing when she gave you to Molly. You known Reva a long time? Most of her life, yeah. Did you know my father? No. Oh, come on, man. I mean, you helped her out. She didn't say anything about my father? No, man, no, she didn't. She was very confused, and she didn't confide in anyone back then. Smell good. I love that. Oh, 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 oh. You never give us any privacy. Come on. Hi. Hi. How's the uh, community service stuff going? Okay. Good. I, I stopped by to see Alexander Spaulding yesterday. Yeah? Why? Well, I, I thought since you and Alan Michael. Hey, look, you said you were going to stop pushing. Just give it a rest, okay? 